uh, no YouTube. I didn't have the time to work on the 60 40 frame last weekend, but I will continue with that this weekend. So hopefully this will be uh, the last video on the frame. Um, I received the VFD. That was um, the last thing that I was waiting for. So when I'm done with the frame, it's time to put the machine together and uh, try it out. Uh, today I will try to align these ones and I will also drill and tap the holes here. So I will go ahead and take the measurements three times here on every screw hole, but I, I won't record it because it's not so, so fun to watch, but uh, I will show you the values. So I gotta say that I'm impressed with these values that I got here, especially in the middle. There is only a 0 0.01 millimeters um, difference between uh, this section here with the, between this these uh, three holes so that's really good but uh, between this value and this value so this value is here and uh, this value is up here there are some difference so I would like to to get that a bit higher As well well this won't perhaps be necessary to try to adjust because I don't know if I can make it better perhaps it it will get even worse but uh, one thing that struck me was that as you can see here um, these holes here have a campered edge if that it's the way to say it, I don't know, but uh, they have used non camfered screws. So one thing that I think, think I will try out is to, to mount these uh, screws here with this camfered edge in case that there are so that these holes here are machined and uh, in that case they might align up very good if I'm lucky but I, I don't th think I will be lucky but anyways I will try it and um, if it makes it better it's good uh, if it don't well then we all know it so what I will do is that I will just um, mount these screws at the end of the frame in these two holes here and in these two holes up here since the variation we have is uh, the most in these two parts of the machine and I don't really want to mess around with these screws here in the middle since uh, it's almost perfect
this is who we uh, felt bent. It's not possible to, to see it, I think, but I felt it when I untightened it. So if we take a look down here in the holes, we can see that uh, if we would mount uh, the screw with the camfered edge, it will press the rail a bit out. And I think this one will press it a bit in, in this direction. But uh, it almost looks like uh, it will push it too much in this direction, but we will give it a try and see if, if anything happens. It might be that it's impossible to adjust them since this hole here can be too tight for the rod to move, but we'll see. So since I bought this one, I will try to to tighten them with two Newton meters if it's possible. So I have now mounted these uh, screws okay so here we have the new value that i got after changing the screws in this end of the machine so it became more like the values in the middle so that was a step in the right direction and uh, this one is a bit better as well after I change the screws here. So now we have only a 0 0.03 millimeter difference with this method of measuring. Um, I will try to make some measurements between here and here also, just to see. But it, it's hard to know what is aligned and not, but uh, there could be, for example, now when I made this improvement here, that it is the same width all the way, but it could be bent a bit so it moves like like this. So there is a lot of uh, variables uh, in this, but um, I would take try to take some more measurements to apply the, the new screws. It didn't make it worse, so that's good. Um, I'm not really sure if it's good to have that type of thing of screw that goes down to the table. Um, it might be good, it might be bad. It might be good because under here, there is only air. Um, it's hard to see here, but uh, the frame is only engaging here and here. So then it goes up so there is air in between so it might be good to have the screws uh, applying some kind of support to the table but uh, most likely it's not most likely it will cause um, a height difference but we will see so i had some fun now with the digital caliper and all the measurements um, was performed three times and I tried to boil it down to to this little sketch here so if we go to the frame and take a look this is seen from above and I typed hole one two three four and five here 
So up here is hole one, hole two, hole three, hole four, hole five. <clears throat> and uh, which conclusions can be made out of this? Well, I think we can make three conclusions out of this. So the first conclusion we can make is out from this number here in the middle. And they represent the width between the outer part of this rod to the outer part of this rod minus the width of this one. So if we take a look at the numbers, we can see that they are pretty similar. The smallest value is 0.74 and the there are, there are actually two um, that are 0 0.77. So that is a difference of 0 0.03 millimeters and I am very happy with that. So the second conclusion we can make is out of um, these values here on the side and um, these represent the width between here and here. So that will be between here and here. And uh, I have drawn these two curves here to illustrate how uh, those uh, values uh, vary. And out from that, one can say that uh, the frame is um, a bit bent like this, but on both sides. But uh, the values of the width is pretty much the same, although there are some larger variations here on this side so that uh, makes it possible to draw the third conclusion and that is that uh, where I measured is not uh, linear or straight also these uh, on the side here I noticed that they are a bit tilted, which also makes it hard to to repeat the measurements with the met method that I used. But I'm pretty satisfied with uh, these values for now. It weren't as bad as I expected it to be. So I will drill the holes now and the tap. And um, I think that I will need a better method to be able to to make better adjustments.